They sold everything for the Vicara bus. And it's like a real house. Van by Carabus. We do interviews now on this channel. They have business cards. It's so friggin' professional. I love it. I messaged these people on Instagram. Actually, I didn't even message them. I tagged them during my lunch break at work and I got a message back saying, hey, come hang out with us tonight. So guess what? I'm gonna do it. Never met these people in my life. Their Instagram looks awesome. They are traveling in a school bus, a schoolie. They've been on the road for like a month. I love to just meet and talk to other people that are traveling, that are living the dream. I am at Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. I'm pulling up to the uh, ranger station right now. I'm gonna get a parks pass, which is a year long pass to visit all the national parks in the area. Press to begin. I'm gonna buy an annual pass. So I just bought the $80 annual pass to get into like all the national parks around here. Which is a pretty good deal because I think it's like 25 bucks just to get into this one. It is beautiful out here, look at that. And we are going to meet people that I've never met before. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully it's not weird. All right, let's find them. They're in a bus, so I think I can find them pretty easily. I see a bus. I think they're in here. I see a bus backing in. They must have just got here. Dude, this no idea that I'm filming him right now. Look, I'm so stoked that at like a random message or, or tag is just like, yo, come over. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, I could murder you guys. You have no idea. Yeah. Or you could murder me. I mean, well, yeah, yeah we're like, not young. Um, so we'll... I just invited a random stranger over here. Is that okay? And he's like, yeah. find out. She, she invited me <laughs> through Instagram, just like randomly. I knew they had an awesome license plate, so I figured. Cool. The only Florida beer that I could see at Safeway. Do you know Ohio? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. I appreciate it. Awesome. Good beer. Uh, here, look over here. Right in the fridge. Yeah. Cool. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. We do interviews now on this channel. I've never done an interview before. I'm here with uh, Nick and Heather. Miles, I'm the dog. And I'm going to be asking them some questions about their travels, hopefully, be able to inspire or motivate somebody else because I know a lot of people out there that watch my channel have enjoyed my van life content even taught me things I didn't even know what a schoolie was until somebody mentioned it in the comments and they are in a schoolie so how old are you guys uh, 38 31 occupation should I be looking at the camera I don't even know because I don't interview what are your occupations <laughs> yeah uh, software engineer I'm a physical therapist so you still have jobs even though you live in the bus. I'm doing like 10 a week on, on average. I'm taking a like eight month sabbatical or early retirement. If we keep going and living in the bus from there, then I'll start doing travel PT and actually bringing in income. So who drives? I drive 99.99% .99 of the time. If you round that up, it's actually accurate at 100%. <laughs> I occasionally start the bus. You've, I have not put it in gear. It? or driven it yet. Is she not allowed to drive? I haven't needed to. Okay. He prefers to drive. So if his foot cramps up, we I pull feel over confident and sleep. that I could <laughs> drive if needed. I probably won't park it. What does vicarabus mean and where did it come from? So vicarabus is a play on the word vicarious and bus mixed together by Carabus. A lot of people don't get that. Put it on the back of our business cards. They have business cards. It's so friggin' professional. I love it. Why did I never do this? I've been fortunate to do a lot of travels, both Heather and I have. You know, usually our parents or mothers will say things like, we're living vicariously through you. Thought, why not take it to the next level and make it the by Carabus and share as much as possible for our moms and every everyone else's moms out there too. Moms don't get enough updates. Moms yeah. can never get like enough updates. Yeah. They would love a live stream if you guys could just live yeah, stream right. the whole time. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So how did you come up with the idea of bus life? So yeah, we get asked this a lot. We really don't remember. It, it, it would have been like a year and a half, maybe two years ago. We were tossing around some ideas, maybe about boating or uh, I'd lived in a van previously. Um, doing a similar thing that you're doing uh, for about a year and a half, about five, six years ago. We were pretty much just looking for a way to travel as much as possible. You know, living full time in an apartment in Denver, we were still probably traveling out of town somewhere at least once a month and doing like a big international trip once or twice a year and so we just kind of wanted a lifestyle that allowed us to travel more and to see more places and to go 
and just see everything and do everything. And then somehow we came up with the idea of the schoolie and immediately we're like, this is what makes the most sense. This is how we can kind of pull this off. And then we bought a bus. So do you guys have a home base or is this it? Uh, yeah, I guess this is it. We were living in Denver for three years prior to this, but we had just moved there to just to try somewhere new. We liked it there, but yeah, we wanted to keep moving and try new things. So if there is a home base, I guess it's the East Coast somewhere. Cause that's where our family split. But no property, no nothing else. Yeah, is we, it. You sold everything. Own no house, no storage unit, no no cars, yeah. no nothing. A bus. You got a bus though. Gone except yeah. for what's in there. They sold everything for the Vicara bus. That is commitment. By the off chance that somebody watching this knows buses, can you like rattle off all the facts? Like the engine and like mm -hmm. what just what you have, they'll know what it is. Like what this is behind me, because I have no idea what it is. Yeah, so what we got behind us is a 1998 Thomas Vista 3600. It's a five window, stub nose bus, snub nose bus. I'm not sure what you'd really call it, but the engine's kind of set back a little bit over the axle, which makes it looks cool in our opinion. Kind of looks like a milk truck, really. One of the problems we found with it is the since the engine's pushed back and it's over the axle, the axle has to drop down or the crossbar does, which gives us only about six inches of clearance, which um, it looks like it's really high, but it's, it's not. So that, that's been something we had to keep an eye on. The engine itself is an international version of the Ford Power Stroke 7.3, technically called the T444E. Our particular model, I think, is the 160 horsepower model, which doesn't sound like a lot, and it's not. And we top out around 60 with our gearing uh, ratio in the, in the rear, maybe 65 on a good day going downhill. We got dualies in the back, so there's six tires all around. They're pretty big and pretty expensive. I believe we have a 35 gallon gas tank. That's my current estimate. I really don't know. Uh, the gas gauge also <laughs> is- by doing math. Yeah. <laughs> I put in 29 gallons one time. Uh, so I know there's more than that. 23 feet long. I want to say it's some feet wide and maybe 11 feet tall. Right, yeah. We'll have to actually get an official measurement here soon. Side note about one of the things I thought was going to be great about this, this bus or the engine is since it is the, the Ford Power Stroke, 7.3 essentially. I thought it was something that can get worked on anywhere, get parts easily anywhere, which for a lot of it, it has been the case, but for this particular application, they um, used like a very custom one-off turbo, which we had to have replaced, which was uh, apparently we found one of two in the country or something like that, um, which costs what you would think a turbo would cost if there's only two left. The externals of the engine have been a little custom, but otherwise the, the mechanics know how to work on it. It's just sourcing the parts has been the problem. Get to know your motor, get to know your one-off turbo when you're doing your research and availability of parts is huge. The same with even just a petrol engine, like in buying a vehicle in general, it's a good thing to think about is like availability of parts. If a ton of them sold, then a lot of the secondhand markets will be available. And if not, then you're gonna spend up for some new custom stuff, unfortunately. If it happens, it happens you got to deal with it miles per gallon what do you get right now we are averaging 9.14 after about seven or eight tanks on this journey nine point something so do you think of like your increments of when you're going you've gone nine miles do you like imagine like three dollars just mm -hmm. poofing out of your bank account from yeah. like one gallon of diesel yeah. just poof last but not least is this your first collab as a content creator yeah yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. First collab. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. No, it's been a pleasure. Just hanging out with these guys has been yeah. really, really fun. They are blogging. I've actually read a lot of their blogs. They are well written. And I liked that they started out with four perspectives. And I think now you're just going to be continue doing two perspectives or maybe cameo, three. Yeah. yeah, the dog has a blog. If anyone wants to follow your journey, what's the best way for them to follow it and or ask you any questions? If you want kind of like all of the information and everything we're doing and kind of knowing everything, then the blog is going to be the best. And that's just vicarabus.com, spelled out so nicely up there without the .com part. Um, and that's where we kind of, we do summaries of everywhere we've been. Um, we have a lot of kind of like, just like reflective posts. We have map section that shows where we've been with pictures of everywhere and kind of where we're going next. Uh, and then we have kind of like a live data feed as well that has all of the information information on like the miles per gallon numbers and how many miles we've gone, how many cars we've passed. We also have Instagram and a Facebook page that are both at Vicarabus. That's probably the easiest way to get in contact with us. We respond to messages um, on both of those, both for information about kind of how we did certain things on the bus or where we are. Or... Links to everything will be in the description. That's the easiest place to find yeah. it. I really do like the website. Nick has 
formal training in computers and web design and app development so I really like the the map is cool the fact that you could track them in real time is like really cool and all the data like live data that's on the website is actually really cool uh, something that I might try to figure out how to do for some of my adventures in the future cool so this was the interview I guess thanks guys for interviewing I appreciate it hey, yeah. thanks. Oh, so they're gonna give me like a short are you guys gonna post the tour on YouTube yeah okay so they're gonna give me a short tour if you want to see the long tour I will link to their video and y'all can check out the long of professional official tour on their video on their channel and they're just starting so please go over to their channel subscribe if you like the van life schooly life oh my gosh they're letting me into their home so there's the beer uh, oh, this is sick. This is pretty self-explanatory, probably at this point. Uh, but we have a van area in the back. It lifts up on hydraulics, uh, so we have like our clothes and stuff and things under that. Got a little monitor here. We use our TV from the bed, or it swivels around. There's a table that pops out from the wall here, and this is a little ottoman that comes out. And we can use it as a workstation, dining room. So yeah, the monitor's on an arm. It comes around. I can do my work with the monitor right in front of me. Uh, I got a little bathroom here uh, with a composting toilet with a big smile. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually like, it's really clean. Like I noticed like it's, like it, I'm living in my van right now yeah. and I wouldn't want a camera in there right now. <laughs> well, well so we just it. cleaned it today <laughs> to do our video tour. Uh, so it probably looks like this at some point during the day each day and then it it's, probably it's like, like a constant progress like yes. yeah you always have to be putting stuff back this is so cool i'm so stoked oh there's a backup camera yeah that wow was key. yeah for this massive of a vehicle gosh it is so clean seriously welcome to paradise <laughs> and it's like a real house real wiring is that wi-fi yeah <laughs> we have um multiple hot spots um, Whoa, like look at the guts. Tacos, tacos, <laughs> tacos, tacos. Chorizo from their first collab. Salsa, aguacate, and cheese. And cheese. <laughs> cheese up there and corn. I got a lime in the car. Do you need a lime? We got it. Oh. <laughs> I got, I got let me con yeah, let me contribute. You brought the beer. Did you guys notice I don't drink? Is that kind of weird? I bring you guys beer and I like didn't have one. I, I either assumed you didn't. I stopped drink drinking last or year. Yeah. You just didn't want to drink and drive. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that the driving <laughs> part, but yeah, I still drink. I can still be. No, I gave it up, not because it was an issue, but just I'm just gonna cut it out, just like as an act of self-discipline. Yeah. They just pulled out a ladder. We're going to ascend the ladder and get on this awesome deck. This is kind of actually kind of sketch, especially with a camera in my hand. Yeah, it's like it's a little totally shaky. safe, but a little sketchy at the same time. Wow. All right, this deck construction is actually like welded. Did you weld it yourself? No, nope, that was the only thing we didn't do is I had a uh, machinist. You can step on like the white, <laughs> just not the silver. Whoa, oh, I'm good. This is sick. Up to you. So sick, top view. Schooly top view, and this is what they get to wake up to tomorrow. The sun's gonna like rise somewhere over here, and it's gonna be gorgeous. We got solar panels, the max air fan. It does forward and reverse, I'm guessing. So the kitchen isn't all cockeyed. All right, thanks everybody for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Big shout out to Mr. Nick by Carabus. I love seeing people living the dream. It's so cool. If you haven't already checked out their stuff, please do. It's gonna be a fun journey to follow, I'm sure. And thanks for watching. If you have any encouraging comments, I'd love to hear it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.